a close-up look at the Bayou Corn sinkhole. I traveled to Ground Zero today to speak with scientists who are working around the clock to maintain that giant slurry. Life in the community of Bayou Corn has been anything but normal. Residents have moved away from the place they once called home. Their frustrations and fears still planted on their property. We have a geoprobe in the front yard. We have a geoprobe in the backyard. Very active. Carla Alama and her neighbors live just 2,000 feet away from the sinkhole. This is what's going on in their backyards more than a year after they were evacuated from their homes. Scientists are monitoring the site on foot and by airboat, keeping constant watch over the growing sinkhole. My husband and I struggle because we don't know where to go. This was it. This this was it. The major earthquake. Leader. President of United Brine, a subsidiary of Texas Brine, Mark Cartwright, explains what it looked like more than a year ago, just hours after it began growing. I, I got to the site probably within about five hours of, of when it actually uh, developed. And at that time, I want to guess it was about 300 feet in diameter. The sinkhole has grown into a large lake. Scientists are now working on containing the slurry as they continue releasing gas from the aquifer. I think to the extent that uh, a sinkhole can be controlled, we do have it under control. The sinkhole is currently at 26 acres. Cartwright says the surface area could grow to about 50 acres out here. But the good news, he says, is it's moving in a southwest pattern which is away from homes and the community. Cartwright says while there has been no massive release of gas in the area, he admits the sinkhole event has caused additional discharge. However, he says he is confident the plan the company has put into motion here will offer some relief. As for the community, he says their concerns have not gone unnoticed. I understand it. It's, it's part of the, the situation. I would hope that soon those signs will come down and we'll, we'll get to some resolution where people can, can feel comfortable again. Brian reports 65 homeowners in Bayou Corn have agreed to sell their properties to the company. There's no word yet on what they plan to do with that land.